Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we've got a couple of areas out there. We're really not going to focus much on those because they're not affecting any land areas and still some time to, to watch those. What we'll watch is now Hurricane Sam. It is rapidly intensified from a tropical depression all the way through tropical storm and now up to a hurricane. You look at the satellite imagery and looking pretty healthy on the satellite imagery now. Towards the end of the loop here, we, we have noticed a few little things, maybe a, a little bit of dry air starting to work its way into at least a portion of the storm. So uh, it's kind of slowed down on that intensification. The other thing is, as we go through the next couple of days, it will have to deal with a little bit of dry air, but the wind shear is light. So that's certainly going in its favor. So any of this dry air should not cause it a huge problem. What it might tend to do is just kind of slow down some of that intensity a little bit but it is still expected to intensify because the low wind shear uh, in the slower movement of this storm keeping it over some warm waters so i don't think this is going to have a, a really a big issue as we go through the next several days but it will slow down some just because the ridge kind of kind of bumping into that ridge so instead of that quick forward motion it will slow its track down a little bit right now it's moving towards the west at 14 miles an hour currently sitting at, with winds, top winds at 75 miles an hour. But watch as this track goes on. You can kind of tell just that, that quick little overview. I always like to mention this. When you see the icons closer together, you know it's moving a bit slower. So you're seeing them kind of stacked a, a bit closer to each other. But you see, by the time we get into Sunday, we're talking about a major hurricane, category four hurricane, working its way eventually more towards that northwesterly track. And that's kind of the big, the key that we've been talking about will this affect any land areas we're not so worried about the u.s but we're worried about some of these islands and then eventually if it makes that turn towards the north remember you've got bermuda out there so we'll be affecting bermuda as well that's still a question as we head into next week it does look like it should steer to the north of these islands look at the various computer models and again you do see a bit of a spread so we are still looking at kind of that question mark in the long range of exactly how quickly it makes this turn towards the north and eventually the northwest but i'll go ahead and circle some of these areas here you can see this is bermuda so you've got some computer models you can kind of extrapolate these out you've got an envelope something like this so anywhere in that envelope you're still looking at the possibility of this affecting bermuda as we go into next week so this is an area that we will continue to watch we'll continue to update this but at this point it does not look like it would be any concern for the u.s but it does look like as we head through the weekend we will be talking about a major hurricane major hurricane sam working its way through the atlantic ocean we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com